Well, this week we're delving into the content of the digital solutions subject in more detail. Now, this is very much intertwined with the assessment requirements of a high definition syllabus, because essentially the syllabus defines what is to be taught and as part of that, what is to be assessed. So, first thing is to look at what we generally call unit planning. You would have seen some of this in digital technologies, where instead of planning out for a single lesson, you plan out a course of study across an entire term or a semester or a year or two years. So there are a range of different approaches to teaching digital solutions. You can teach it through um, purely coding, um, web development, app development, robotics, um, esports. There can be a range of different sort of themes and flavors around addressing the content. And the content doesn't have to be addressed in the exact sequence as it is in the syllabus. Um, you have the option to frame how students are going to engage with the content as long as it is covered. So I've given you a couple of examples. Um, one from Park Ridge State High, where they use a combination of web development and robotics as part of their planning. And one from St. Joseph's Terrace, um, where they've taken a bit more of a generic generalist approach, looking at how to plan out the coverage of the syllabus over the two years. So have a look at those examples and just give a bit of an idea of how to plan out a unit and a course of study across the four units, which comprise the two years of digital solutions. So there are some resources. Now, while digital solutions is still a very new subject, there are a couple of texts that are in existence. One was written before the subject was finalized, so it has a few errors, but in the main, it's still a good coverage of the digital solutions subject. And that's the Nelson's Digital Solutions for QCE. And with that, I provided you a, a mapping of um, units three and four, which is the senior subjects, or well, the senior years, uh, and how it can be addressed through that particular textbook. Now, unfortunately, we don't have an online copy for you through the library, but it is available for purchase and so forth. Um, and I've given you a link to it there. Now, there's also another textbook in development by um, a teacher, and it's going through a number of revisions as it moves its way towards eventual publication, whether or not that'll be as an ebook or as a free resource or through a publication process with a textbook author. So that's there also for you to have a look at. Now, as the subject has evolved, generally it's followed um, a traditional pre-tertiary uh, computer science curriculum. Uh, learning coding, learning database development, a little bit about networking, about data security, things of that nature. And that really comprises the digital solutions um, subject. But through that, there have been a few little problematic aspects where some of the techniques used in computer science as very general techniques um, with lots of different ways of interpreting how to use them have difficulties in being accessible. Now, the two examples are um, pseudocode and data flow diagrams. Both techniques to help the design process, but they were never really intended to be um, so tightly defined that they could be accessible. So in order to make them accessible, uh, the QCAA has come up with their own additional guidelines for the use of pseudocode and data flow diagrams, essentially specifying a QCAA approved version of those two techniques. And you should become familiar with that and have a look at those resources.